Well, let's get an update on the ground now. Truck drivers who are currently stationed on the N2 near Richards Bay are waiting to access the harbour. Uh, they say work. They are fearful, in fact, of being at work due to the ongoing ambushes. The drivers have also uh, decried poor working conditions, including a two-day long wait uh, to reach the harbour. Let's get an update now, and we speak to Newsroom Africa's Karinda Jagmohan. Karinda, good morning to you. These are uh, quite a long list of delays from the truck drivers who clearly have to endure long hours uh, sitting in that very queue behind you. Uh, just explain to us how they're feeling about this situation. Certainly, early over the past hour, we've been walking along this queue speaking to truck drivers, and we came here to speak to them about the torching of trucks that have been happening, the series, like you mentioned. But they have told us about issues that are ultimately not leading to this, but essentially uh, they, they end in the situation, they land in the situation where they fear for their lives. So while my colleague Lungelo Zungu shows you this queue of trucks, I want to explain to you why this queue is here. This is the turnoff to head to the Richards Bay Harbour, which is a place where trucks will either import or export cargo for collection or delivery. Now, they have been waiting here in this line for several hours. The first truck came here at 7 o'clock, and one of the truck drivers said that um, at one stage he came here two days or it took him two days to just get to the front of the line. He was way at the back of the line, and he said this issue started in December. Now, why I bring this up while we discuss the torching of trucks is because of this fear that trucks could be burnt or the uh, assets could be stolen or damaged. The truck drivers cannot leave their vehicles while they wait here. So from 7 in the morning or from two days ago, truck drivers have been in their vehicles. There's no place uh, for ablution facilities, there are no shopping areas to get something to eat. There's a lady who walks up and down with basic fruits and some chips or sweets, and that's all that they have. And these delays, they say, or this wait here on the N2 highway, having to at times sleep in their vehicle, leads them to believe that their life could be in danger because ultimately it's a sitting duck. Um, and at this point, you can even just see the trucks next to us as well. So. What we are speaking uh, about here, or we've been speaking to some of the truck drivers. We spoke to one man who said that he was last at home two weeks ago um, in Bloemfontein. He misses his family, his children, and he's worried for his life as he sleeps over in his truck waiting to get to the harbour, complete his job, and then go home as we discuss the torsion of trucks. I'd like you to take a listen to Mr. Sipo Mohabi. I am scared for my life. I am scared for my life because I don't know what will happen tomorrow to me or to anyone of my colleague or anyone of the truck drivers driving the truck. Do you think that people have been listening to the issues of truck drivers or taking them seriously? We were trying to people so that they can be listening to hear what's the problem, why, what is this delay? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. We don't get an, any answer. What do, you, what do you want from the powers that be? The problem can be sorted from the the harbor. I think because all the, some some of the trucks they don't go to the harbor, they're going to the Elton. Mm. And then we all stand mm. on the queue. Mm. Then you don't go to the harbor. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem. If they can sort the problem of the harbor, I think everything will be sorted. sorted out here. And so why do you think trucks are being ambushed? <laughs> that one I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that one I don't know. I don't have any answer for that one. Really, I don't have an answer for that one. Yeah, I am worried. I am very scared of my life. I have kids. I have wife. Where do you live? Yeah. Where do you live? I live in Bloemfontein. And how long has it been since you went home? Uh, now it's about two weeks. Mr. Sipo Mahapi, among the many truck drivers waiting in this queue to get to the harbour to ultimately complete their job, or maybe start their job. This is, of course, for imports and exports, cargo delivery and collection. As this happens again uh, across KZN, there are similar sites where truck drivers are feeling the same fear, and they say that while they want police visibility, they also want better working conditions, like we just said.
Karinda Jagmohan, let me thank you very much. And my goodness, uh, it is a tough situation for the truck drivers because two weeks on the road without having seen your family, uh, that's got to be tough. And then at the same time, you have to worry about uh, the safety, the safety element, whether or not you are going to make it home after uh, making the delivery.